Let's bring in Paul Hickey from Bespoke uh, Investment Group. Hey, Paul, obviously, hey, you know, defining a soft landing and, you know, it's in the eye of the beholder on some level. Uh, I think one of the bigger questions might be, what is the market currently seemingly positioned for? In other words, does it have a hopeful uh, implicit message here about earnings being able to hold up? Or are we, uh, are we leaning toward the idea that it'll be a harder landing so far? Well, so the market is definitely taking a more cautious approach, which, you know, goes back to Bullard's comments this morning that, uh, you know, he was saying that inflation is not going to fall as fast as the markets expect. I mean, you, you want to ask, well, what makes him so sure rather than the market? We always defer to the market uh, rather than any individual uh, view. And the market is telling us that the rates, when you and Steve were talking about the 10-year, more than 100 basis points below um Fed funds rate and the three-month yield, it's only been this inverted. Um, you know, it hasn't been more than this inverted only on one, less than 2 percent of all trading days uh, throughout history going back to 62. It was only during 73 and 74 and 79 to 81 that we saw more inverted yield curves uh, than we have right now. So that's certainly a concern. The Strong, uh, the weaker than expected ISM reports, uh, services report that kicked off this rally about a week and a half ago, that was thought, thought of as a good thing, weak economic data, mm -hmm. maybe taking the Fed. But now we're seeing too much of a, of a quote unquote good thing as we've seen, you know, just as Steve said, ugly data this morning. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is the concern. The more positive aspect of things is there's two things that, uh, that are different here. You touched on it earlier. Uh, employment has been holding up. When we've seen these weak ISM ratings in the past, employment has always, in the past, already turned negative, and we're still at plus 200 um, monthly prints for the last two years. Uh, so that's sure. a, a, an optimistic. And then overall, consumers have more money in their bank accounts right now. Brian Moynihan brought that up on the conference call uh, last week, that that's cushioning the blow. But if the Fed waits till we get to see negative prints in employment, then the, uh, then the hopes for a soft landing will be, you know, pretty much uh, extinguished. In that context, Paul, we did see actually a big push into risk assets. Markets performed very well. Broad rally first couple of weeks of this year. Uh, are earnings in the short term achievable, do you think? Can that kind of support the market while we wait to see if the landing is soft or not? Well, so far, what we've seen is the results we've seen um, just since uh, the banks kicked off earnings. It's a very small sample size. But less than half of companies have exceeded EPS forecasts, and barely more than half have exceeded revenue forecasts. That's a really low number. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, the positive side to that aspect is the fact that we've seen the markets hold up. Up until today, we've seen relatively good performance, uh, even from the companies reporting. So that lends credence to the idea that the buy side was ahead of the sell side and maybe had lower expectations. Overall, analyst sentiment heading into this earnings season, again, like the last two earnings seasons, was very weak. Um, you know, we've only yeah. seen a handful of other quarters which saw weaker sentiment. And when you have that low bar set, you tend to see strong performance during earnings season. And so to yeah. your point, what – go ahead, sorry. No, I was just going to say, we, we, we got to run, but it seems like the market has kind of been a little bit ahead uh, of the consensus and, and maybe even, you know, where this whole economic debate might be right now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lead at some point. We'll see if that point is now, Paul. Uh, listen, Great. appreciate the time. We'll talk again soon.